Let's go. Let's go. Tone, I want my money, Tone. I want my money, Tone. I told you, I need my money. I'm about to text him right now. Did y'all see the fight? Did y'all see the fight? Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia, King Ryan Garcia, I said it. That's a facade. What he doing up there is all an illusion. And that's exactly what it was. Did y'all see the fight? Look, he's wobbled. Look at him. The ref is taking too much time, bro. Let him get to the fight. He was doing that all night. I'm like, ref, like, you gotta let them box, man. You hold on too much, man. Round 10, look, let's go. Come here. <laughs> Devin was running from them, bro. And it's, it wasn't, right, the, it really wasn't all that complex at all. Once he got wobbled in that first round, his equilibrium was off. I'm telling you right now. He was a second slower. He didn't have his, this, the necessary steps to maneuver around the punches. He just wasn't the guy who we seen fight previously. One in that all. Oh yeah, we about to watch it all. We about to watch all the highlights. I don't give a f I'm doing it. 225, damn. I'm boxing, man. This make me fucking tired as a I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> this got me tired as a motherfucker, man. But we got to tell the two tapes. We got Ryan, 25 year old. I think Ryan about 5'10, 5'9, somewhere probably about 5'10 around there. And then you got Mr. Haney, homie 25, he about 5'7, 5'8, you know what I mean? On paper. Both of them had on the way in that, you know, had to come in at 140. Ryan, I think he was about three and a half over or something like that. They even made a wage. They even had a bet going. Homie gotta pay up. I think he owe, I think he owing. If he haven't paid his wages yet, he owed Devin about 1.5. Millie, just for coming in overweight, I think Devin got the the, the better reach. I think Devin, I think Devin uh, reaches is um a little longer, I think. But that's either here nor there. We made a bet. I was talking to the homie Tone, Tone like Devin gonna put that boy down. I'm like Devin, bro. Devin ain't really like that when they come to hitting. Like he's very tactical. He's very skilled, but he ain't like that like that. I said, if anybody go go down, it's going to be Devin. We made a bet. I said, I bet you little dog put Devin down. And again, I ain't going to lie. I was kind of <laughs> popping my because Ryan hit hard, but it's like homie's not really tactical like that. You know what I mean? I'll say it like this. Devin is more of the skilled boxer. Ryan is more of a fighter. Like Ryan want to fight. He want to get in there and throw them things with you. While Devin is more like, let me pick my poison. Let me pick my spots. Right, but Ryan is more aggressive. He's more on the attack, while Devin is more sharper with his approach. But we got the fight, and the, the jig is already up. If you haven't seen it, it's going around all over social media. I'm watching the fight like, oh, yeah, I'm about to win this this money. I can't wait to win this. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Right there. Right there. That's when I knew Ryan had him woke. Said Ryan got him woke. Now he want to hug. Now he want to play. Ryan out gate was applying all type of pressure. While homie stood tall, he was very square. Like, it was weird watching the fight. But we about to get off into a tone. I need my money, fam. I knew for a fact some history was going to be made. I don't know what type of history was going to be made. But I also knew that Ryan had a chance in this fight. Homie seemed as though he was drinking beer. I'm like, that can't be beer. Ain't no way. Bruh, he had the weigh-ins. Bruh, he stepped... Bro, he up there, he literally chucked the beer, the quote-unquote beer, and did, did all. I'm like, no way he up there drinking beer, bro. It's no way. It's too much money invested for him to be acting like that. But I think it was something else. Like, But he gave off the illusion like it was beer. One thing about Ryan, he's a TikToker. He know how to get you motherfuckers riled up about nonsense. He know how to do this. He had the orchestra playing music, that, like playing like little sad type music before the fight. <laughs> you know, motherfuckers normally listen to the baby. They going, they going crazy. They listen to Lil Baby. They listen to 21 Savage. They listen to all type of gangsters. Homie is in there listening to symphony music, fam. I'm like, y'all, man, this about to knock this the fuck out. <laughs> but we about to get off into the action. So without further ado, y'all, man, I need Tone to send me my money, though. That's a fact. I need that. And you waiting a little bit too long, my nigga. You waiting too long. To send me my bread, so you need to be sending that. Please send it through. But we about to get off into it though. Let's go. Let's go. That's let's go. That's exactly how you do it. I appreciate you, fam, for sending that.
right on through. Let's get it. Now I can get to the video. If you haven't seen the fight, we about to get off into it right now. Devin, my guy, you looked crazy in that, man. I wonder what Bill had to say. <laughs> you know, Bill, Bill like the modern day Don King of this dog was popping big. I wonder what he got to say now. If you haven't seen the fight, we about to get off into it right now. Without further ado, Ryan, Devin Haney, you motherfuckers, it is right back on you. Devin Haney doesn't have the power, but he doesn't Let's have go. the accuracy and timing. Let's go. If you're that aggressive, get over Let's go. Line. Right there. Right there. That's when I knew Ryan had him woke. Said Ryan got him woke. Now he want to hug. Now he want to play. <laughs> he up there. Oh, oh, man. Let's get up. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. If you watch the fight, right, this is not really telling because they're going to be skipping through the rounds. But round one, when, 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 um, when Ryan threw that left hook, I said, yo, this fight is not going to go how people think it's going to go for the remainder of the night. Because Devin got stung with that motherfucker. And he got stung pretty bad. And you can tell from how wobbly his legs were. This wasn't his night at all. At all. If anything, homie got maybe about two rounds, two to three rounds throughout the night. I mean, some people say the fight looked close. Again, Devin is skilled enough to make it look away. But you can tell mentally he was just unfocused. Unfocused. He was unwavered from that shot and he couldn't put his legs up under him for the remainder of the night. Yeah, he was a trooper. He he even got up after this drink right here. He was a trooper, man. Hold up, man. But let's see. We gotta watch it, man. Cause this y'all didn't get the pay per view. Why y'all didn't get the pay per view, man? Y'all could have got the pay per view, man. Look, he's wobbled. Look at him. Look at him. The ref is taking too much time, bro. Let us get to the fight. He was doing that all night. Bro. I'm like ref, like you gotta let them box, man. You don't know too much, man. Round ten. Look, let's go. Come here. Devin was running from them shits, bro. And it's, it wasn't, but the, it really wasn't all that complex at all. He, his, once he got wobbled in that first round, his equilibrium was off. I'm telling you right now. He was a second slower. He didn't have his, his, the necessary steps to maneuver around the punches. He just wasn't the guy who we seen fight previously. It wasn't at all. And again, here's where Devin got to go to the drawing boards at, right? Devin is, is, is mainly fought guys that are a lot older and past that prime. Let's just start there. Guys that are a lot older and past that prime. Now he's in there with somebody who's a hyena at the same age, at the peak of their prime, literally making just as much or a way more amount of money, like got the stamina, got the durability, Got the speed, got the power, got the connection rate. Like, he's right there winning. So now he's in there with somebody who's capable of doing damage just as much as he would do damage to them. Like, there's no excuses at this point. Devin got to fight more of this style of fighters. Guys who are literally younger or just as at the, you know what I mean? Just at the same age as he's at. Bro, he was in there putting dog on the canvas, fam. And I was shocked. I knew for a fact that 750 was going to be hitting my motherfucking cash app last night. And it didn't hit it just till now. Toon. Toon. It didn't. Bro, I would have been right there with you, fam. If we was in the same room. Giving you your money right on the spot. You waited till the, de the next day. No, I get it. I get it. I ain't going to lie. I get it. <laughs> I did. I, you you kind of spoke of the situation. I'm just talking shit a little bit. I ain't going to lie. I got to give it to you. <laughs> Nah, I knew your circumstances, but I knew you was going, you know, word is bond. I knew you was going to hold your end of the bargain because, again, that's just what type of guy I am. If I shake hands on the bet, I'm, I'm, that's just what it is. But, but at this point, I'm like, yo, I can't believe I'm watching this because there was a little bit in me that had me feeling like, Ryan, I don't know. It was a lot of the antics, though, a lot of it. And then again, you know, you got guys like Devin who just, like, they, they breathe, they eat, sleep shit and breathe this sport right here ryan on the other hand is kind of like fell into his lap although he had a bunch of amateur fights and all of that i still feel like it kind of like fell in his lap for real like you know what i mean like he don't i don't know i don't know i don't know but again he was in trouble all night and you guys are seeing it right here 
Look at this shit, bro. Look at this, bro. Get up. Get up! Look at this, dog! Get this damn! Look at this! He's bleeding from the mouth! Look at this! Then he gets the tongue! Bro, he's, he's literally playing around, man! He know he won the fight! At this point, it was just like, yo, it's not even the competition no more. Ryan was in there playing with them. At one point, you can see in the corner, when he came to the corner, I think it was... I think it was maybe after round 11. His trainer had to throw him to the ground and throw him in a chair like, bruh, chill the fuck out. The fight ain't over. You enjoying the fruits of the labor and it's not over. You can go into round 12 and get your shit pinned. And then you on the ground and not getting up at the 10 count. Like, he's literally had to tell homie, chill the fuck out. And this is my problem that I got with Ryan. He get overzealous and he gets super excited. And it's just like, bruh, calm down. Like, no, it's not over yet, fam. It's over when the clock expires. That's when it's over. But yeah, as you can see, he planned. Like, he was literally fooling around with boy. He didn't even care about this fight no more, man. Look at this shit, bro. He's like, oh, swing, swing, swing. swing. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Dog sticking his tongue out at him. That's crazy, bro. That's a tone, Did tone, he tone, do tone. it up? <laughs> Yo, let's Usually go. Does the trick. There it is, man. Ryan Garcia. There it is, man. Y'all want to hear the verdict? You want to hear the verdict? Y'all want to hear it? <laughs> the boy put his hand up and all of that in victory. But the fucked up part about it is that he didn't even win the WBC. He couldn't even win it because he came in overweight at the weigh-ins. That's tough. But for young fighters like this, I'm telling you now, in this day and age, all they care about is the motherfucking profit. All they care about is what it says at the end of that, that statement. Once that money hits that bank account, they don't care about them belts and all that shit, man. These people don't care about legacies no more, fam. He's literally on record saying, I'm, I was drinking bo I was drinking beer up at, at, at the training camps and all that. He was saying that. <laughs> like, not, he's literally a role model to a lot of these young cats and young fighters that's coming up. And he's like, I'm smoking weed and all type of shit. Like, he was wildin'. He was, y'all didn't see the whole lead up to the fights. This right here, bruh, everybody was in tune to this. Y'all wasn't watching this? Y'all wasn't fucking with the fights? Come on, man. Yeah, man, but this is a sweet victory for Ryan because a lot of people counted him out. The odds and the plus minuses and all of that in Vegas was looking crazy. If you put money on Ryan and it was a small percentage, a very small percentage, y'all made a lot of money. And I made a lot of money just on a fluke. Just because I knew there was a chance and Ryan and, uh, and Devin's chin is light cheese. Boy get hit. He's, bruh, when he get hit, every time he get hit, he's fumbling and, and drooling at the mouth and all type of shit. I've seen it. I've seen it. I said if Ryan tapped that chin one time with that left hook, he's going down. I'm telling you. Homie like, nah, you bugging, put some money on it. And one thing about me, when I study this crap, you know what I mean? A lot of the shits that I'm in tune with, I stud I don't just watch this. I don't just wake up watching this shit. I didn't watch boxing, boxing yesterday. Like, I've been watching this shit for years. For some reason, I just felt like Homie underestimated Ryan. He, I think he really did. He fed into all that shit that Ryan was doing, which can easily knock you off your square mentally up here. He wasn't as focused and sharp as he needed to be for this fight. And that is due to what Ryan was doing prior to it. Being up in the spaces, up on Instagram stories. Like, he made it very, very easy for Devin Haney to kind of go into this fight way too relaxed. And he made it very easy. He, I think he was believing the hype. I think he really was believing the hype. Like, dog, this thing ain't gonna be ready. He already showed up to the, he showed up to the weigh-ins. Three point, you know what I mean? Over. And that's like, I'm about to knock this nigga the fuck out, bro. He was literally charging at a fighter. Somebody who wanting to fight. Like, he want this type of action. Instead of him playing his game, this was tough. Let's see, let's see, let's see the boy get crowned up. But he even Master went over there and showed love to the fella. They ain't even want to show the love back. He's tough. They ain't even want to show the love back, man. Come on, man. They ain't even want to show the love back. Devin Haney going to come on, man. Y'all gonna talk like the like the ones, like the ones when you lose to the honor. He's trying to act like he got the job done, Sergio. Y'all know what it went over there and told his love if he would have been on the game for five times. And here are the totals. 
Judge Max DeLuca scores this contest even, 112-112. I thought Ryan was about to get cheated when I heard that score. I thought he was gonna get cheated. There's no way you watch this fight as dominant as Ryan was and throughout this fight, you scoring it even like that. It's no way, it is no way. Whoever that judge was needed to be tested. And, and quite frankly, I don't think he need to be a judge anymore if he's scoring shit like that. That's crazy, bro. If you watch this fight, there's no way. No way. I thought he was going to get cheated. Eric Marlinski, 114-110. Robin Taylor, 115-109. Your winner by majority decision. Salute to Ryan, man. Salute to Ryan, bro. Salute to Ryan, man. I'm going to end that right there, man. As you can hear, King Ryan was crowned. He made history tonight. The boy going to be even more popular after this. Although he don't got the belt, but I'm telling you, a lot more of these guys are going to be coming out for the money and the money itself. They don't really care about these belts and shit. They don't be caring, bro. Like this, this, this new age boxing, bro, it's all about a check. And you want to know who made it? Like that, and for these type of fighters, blame Floyd Money Mayweather. The way dogs stunt and, and, and floss his money, he make people feel like, damn, that's all I really want is the money. Like, I don't care about the belts and all of that, because he's not showing off the belts. He's showing off that money, and that's what guys get in it for, man. They think it's a check for him, and it is what it is. But salute to Ryan. This was a hell of a fight for him, and he, he beat the odds. He beat the odds. Devin got to go back to the drawing boards. He got to, I mean, do I want to see a rematch? Nah, I don't think a rematch is necessary. He still got the belt. Be happy you still got the belt. You still got a bag. Be happy. But I think Devin is, I think Devin is somebody who, who want the glory as well when it comes to the money and the cash prize, but he's also one who care about the belts. So I think he's comfortable where he's at, although he probably would have won the, he wanted to win the fight, but it just wasn't his night. And that's just, it's like that sometimes in boxing. And nor will I, you know, discredit his ability or, or try to compare him to other fighters because other fighters were more successful with Ryan. I'm not going to do all of that. Um, let's give credit where it's due. Ryan Garcia was counted out by the masses, and he came in there and shocked the world pretty much. Shocked the world. He shocked the world. But he had to become a better fighter. He had to, because the way he fought tonight was a dangerous attack. I'm not going to lie, it was very dangerous, he, but he got lucky. He snuck that, that left joint in there in the first round, and, and it wasn't no looking back. Nor did he go on cruise control. He still was on the attack, and he was literally trying to put that boy down. But the referee was doing a little slick shit tonight to kind of like take away from that. And I'm not going to go too in-depth with that, but the referee... This is, I mean, this referee is hella good, though. I'm not going to say too much, but tonight he was kind of like, ah, I don't want to say he was favoring Devin a little bit, but it, it looked away. Like, that was the perception, my nigga. I'm not going to lie. You taking away points and all of that for, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to go into in depth with that, but this was a hell of a fight for Ryan. Congratulations. You enjoy this shit, dog. Like, Ryan last night was smoking weed. He's... He, <laughs> <laughs> Boy, he was at a table with his homies blowing big bag. He like, where Tyson at? Somebody call up Tyson. Tell Tyson. Tyson a real one. Tyson was in there before the fight showing love to Ryan. Like, yo, you you can, you got a chance, man. Go and make history. And homie made history tonight. Salute to Iron Mike, man. This was a hell of a victory for homie. I just wanted to come through and pop my shit a little bit because Tone had to owe me some money. 750 just like that easily. Who else want to make the bets on the next one? What we doing? Canelo about to fight. Y'all want to... Who want to make a bet? <laughs> Drop it down in the commentary section below. Canelo getting up there in age, but the boy is the face of um, Hispanic boxing right now. Fuck Hispanic boxing. He's literally one of them guys when it comes to boxing. I love it, man. This sport is incredible. Y'all let me know what you think. Drop it down in the commentary section below. It's the boy, Fanatic. Try to do one, I'm going to do two. If I try to do three, I'm going to do four, maybe even more. I go by PLLO. I think it's about that time, man. Let me call this fool tone back, man. I got to go. Bye.